Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your Oracle reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Okay, so Gemini, it looks like for some of you, um, you can have a male here who is kind of pining over you, over the relationship, uh, kind of mourning the relationship, maybe wanting it to start up again, thinking, contemplating how they could express themselves to you, how they could bring this back. They could be resting in indecision in terms of what to do, not knowing what to do. This person could be specifically asking for another try. Um, you could be dealing with a narcissist and um, they're unapologetically a narcissist. But they're also saying that maybe they're maturing because there's someone here who's also saying, I want to marry you. OK. Um, and that they're healing from their upbringing. Maybe that played a part in the fact that they were a cheat or a cheater. Right now, you feel like you just need to focus on your career aspirations, your goals, maybe starting a business, um, having profit come into your life, into your business, um, because you feel like maybe being with this person is, is going to put you at a disadvantage. You feel like you could be taken advantage of sometimes because this person is so changing, so fickle, so irregular. Or the relationship has been just that. You may be more focused on your fortune, uh, your money, what you'll be doing for the rest of your life. You may be focused on, you know, retirement, starting a business. It says that whatever you're putting your energy effort into, you love doing it, and your your talent is um, it's being uh, put to be to its best use. Uh, You've got that divine spark and then that feminine and masculine here that really marries well to the point where, you know, you're making strides in your your business. Your business could be getting to or you're trying to build it to a place of it being self-sustaining or your life being self-sustaining. You won't have to do so much to maintain or sustain yourself. Um, you're working hard on you and what you want and what you want for yourself um a year from now you can see what it is you you're wanting you can see it manifest for you some relationship some situation is unlikely to change uh or it, or someone is unlikely to to um be become stable or become solid They'll, they'll always be hot and cold and fickle. And maybe you have to judge them by their actions here. The cards want you to know that you will have abundance. You're definitely concerned about your fortune. You can have abundance not just in money, but in your health, in your well-being, in your spirituality. The cards want you to communicate clearly with a particular individual because the answers uh, you need are coming to you. And you need to communicate clearly with this person. Be very aware that, you know, your words could possibly have consequence or you may not get the reaction or the response you're looking for. Be ready for it. Some of you need to let a, a relationship go, a situationship go because it's leaning to being toxic now it's leaning to being um bondage or, or a hindrance in your life it's okay to let this go um, maybe this relationship has played out over many lifetimes you guys are just continuously doing the same thing over and over again you're you're always at a restart or starting over or it, it never gets too self-sustaining act with you guys it never gets to stability here looks like you are going to have some prosperity prosperity lies ahead for you uh maybe around the taurus new moon so that's very soon for you which is is great um they want you to, to make sure that you don't let pride get in the way uh speak exactly how you feel 
you know, communicate clearly, but don't be prideful in your uh, communication. Don't try to save face. Um, let vulnerability take its course so that you can have uh, honest communication also. I think that pretty much sums it up here. You have a, it's really on you if you want to continue to maintain this relationship or friendship. There also could be a friendship ending. Somebody feels differently now. Um, let the past go, move on, release it because you're carrying it on your back now. And just know that, you know, prosperity lies ahead. That right now you're seeing a, a few profits, a few gains, but you could be very fortunate in the near future or a year from now. Um, abundance is here for you in, a, in maybe a year from now. Oh, you also have in the near future. So very nice. Okay, Gemini, I hope that this reading resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also uh, donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you.